everyone, welcome. So today's topic is all about coronavirus. So this time I'm going to be talking about how the coronavirus enters your body and affects it. So when it first enters your body by sneeze, saliva, or sweat spraying on your face. And, you know, and when it enters your body, it first takes a blood cell. And before it takes a blood cell, it has protein spikes all over it, which helps the coronavirus you know, stay in place and not get affected by the white cells, which help protect your body from, you know, um, fevers and viruses. So, when it affects a single blood cell, the blood cell still goes on the stream and we don't even know that. And when it still goes on the stream, it gets spreading, it's like spreading to all the other blood vessels, blood cells and stuff. Then the coronavirus cell merges into four. Then, it goes all the way from your veins to your lungs. This is the most important part, so you have to listen to this carefully. When it enters your lungs, it um, goes into the one of the chambers in your lungs right here. It's called alveoli. There's, they're tiny air sacs, which help you to breathe easily and filter carbon dioxide. So, when it enters the air sac full of a a alveoli, it um, clearly wraps around the entire alveoli and destroys the set, which makes it difficult, extremely difficult to breathe. So, that's what it does. Then, next, it goes up to your veins and spreads it to the whole body, but it does not affect the brain yet. And after five days or four days or eight days, you'll be um, experiencing memory loss and you'll be forgetting a lot of things. Like, what's the time right now? 5.30, but then... You're going to be like, what's the time again after 5 minutes? 5, 5, 35. So it's like that. And when you experience memory loss, you can also, it, you know, the virus is very fatal and it can also affect your bra brain. So, and as, when it starts affecting your brain, you might like, oh, I already said memory loss. But you could be like neurotransmit levels. It could be really high and you'll be really stressed out. You'll always be sweating and you'll always be thirsty. And also, since I told how the coronavirus affects your body, and I told you that it's fatal, extremely fatal, I'm going to tell you the common, unknown, and um, severe symptoms of coronavirus. So the common symptoms, really, you know all of that. It's um, sneezing, dry cough, cold, um, fevers, Lo appetite, appetite loss, so you don't want to eat at all because when you're sick, you don't want to eat. So then, the unknown symptoms, like vomiting, because the coronavirus, coronavirus wells up in your stomach. It makes you, you know, really sick, and it feel, makes you feel really sick, and you always have to vomit, like, once an hour. So that's how it happens, you know. Then... The other unknown symptoms are diarrhea and nausea. Nausea is literally the worst thing that could ever happen. It's exactly like vomit, but no, no, no. If you have that, make sure you have a coronavirus test because that is an unknown symptom of coronavirus too. Then we have the serious symptoms, the dangerous ones. And the dangerous ones are, you know... When you walking around slowly in your house, getting bored, looking at your phone, doing whatever you want to do, and you suddenly feel that something like spiking on your skin, that's some dangerous, severe symptoms, then you should immediately get a virus test. And since now the vaccine has been um, moved in Russia, then USA, then India, so wherever, I hope. And one of the get vaccine gets safely there, and you should immediately get the vaccine also, and you should immediately get a coronavirus test if you have like spiky, you know, everything spiking around in your skin and body. Next severe symptom is numbness. You can literally not feel. It just feels like you're thin air, but you have a body and all stuff. You know, and um, numbness. Is means that the coronavirus is getting all the strength of your blood cells and it's making you feel like it's not nothing there, nothing there. You don't feel your hands at all. You don't feel your face. You don't feel your lips. 
you don't feel that there's hair right there. So you don't feel anything. Those are the two serious symptoms that you immediately have to go to the doctor. Check out, check up, have a check up, coronavirus test, everything. So those are all the symptoms. Dangerous, serious, unknown, and common. Then I'm going to give you some safety procedures and make sure you have social distancing. Everybody says that, you know, social distancing prevents it like when someone sneezes and it gets on you, you should not touch your eyes, nose, and mouth because those are the only spots where the coronavirus can enter your body and also protect those ears. And, you know, there should be a five... Um, I mean, five meter distance between one person and another person. So if this is one person, then another person should be standing right there. So sneeze can travel up to two meters. So it only travels up to here. But the other person is here, and the other person is here. So it protects you from um, the virus entering your body. And also, when you touch something without wearing, wearing gloves, and you put it in your eye. You don't do that. You don't even touch your face when you touch something outside in this pandemic. So without wearing a mask, like if you go to crowded places, you have to wear like two, three cloth masks, masks to prevent it from entering your body. You should also wear the goggles. You know, the coronavirus is airborne, so it can also enter your eyes even without you touching it. So wear goggles, wear masks, three or two masks. Wear two gloves, a glove on here, a glove on here, and don't forget to wash your hands. That's very important. And if you wash your hands constantly, we can save this virus from spreading to other people and everybody getting sick. So, and also one more important information before I finish this video, you should always carry a big bottle of sanitizer with you when, wherever you go, whenever, wherever you go. So I hope you enjoyed all these safety tips and how the coronavirus enters your body. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye!